What's up, Buff Nation? Hope you guys are having a good April. I wanted to drop this video sooner, but it was April 1st, and I thought too many of you would think that we were joking. I dropped a video on another channel, and people just lined the comments with, this must just be about April Fool's, and I was like, no, it wasn't. So thank you guys for your patience in us getting this out. But we've got a couple of good stories for you, so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any of our future content as spring is getting up and getting going, and we are just a couple of weeks away from the spring game, which we've got a news update on. I know you guys already know it, but I want to share some thoughts on that. First thing I want to talk about today is Coach Prime chatting with a former teammate at practice. Now, if you saw the recent well-off media video, Coach Prime just dropped a massive hint, and I'm excited to see what may come from it. It absolutely fits Coach Prime's character. It absolutely fits what he is looking to do. Now, Adelius Thomas, a former teammate, told a story about Coach Prime giving up a last second sack to him. It, it showed Coach Prime's humility and caring for his teammate who went on to be in a contract year and get bonuses. And it was a really, really nice gesture for Coach Prime. But then after that story, the two started to joke a little bit. Coach Prime started to joke about having NFL guys around his program, which you guys know he does all the time. He's got guys on staff from the NFL. He's got different analysts. We're going to talk about Warren Sapp here in just a moment. But then he said, we might be adding somebody else. Now the rumor, the suggestion was that he would be adding Thomas potentially to a loaded staff of analysts and guys that are there in Boulder that can help him with several things, not just recruiting, but development and just getting guys ready for that very next level. Now, what I want to know, I know you guys watched the video. I know you guys saw it on well off. Was coach prime talking about Thomas or is there maybe somebody else you absolutely can never tell with coach prime that's one thing that he does super super well is he stays ahead of what everyone's guessing at he stays ahead at what everyone thinks his next move is and he does it very very well is coach prime talking about thomas the former teammate the one he told a story about or is there somebody else you think he may add? Or are there other whispers, other rumors? What do you guys think? Let's talk about it down in the comments. Now, one new addition that is there is Warren Sapp, who has been seen, obviously, now in some well-off videos and has been talked about and officially with the buffs. And a lot of people never thought that this would happen. A lot of people thought that there was zero chance that Coach Prime would end up adding him. Well, he did. And I think for a few reasons that we'll talk about here just a moment, but there's some other reasons we've already mentioned with why he may add another member to the staff. But for those of you who don't remember, and I, and I think a lot of you do, I think a lot of you do remember that gray era of the late 90s and early 2000s and just what the NFL was like then. But I live in Tampa, and so the name Warren Sapp has a different level of meaning to me. He was one of the greatest ever to put on that Bucks uniform. And then before that, obviously, he, for the Miami Hurricanes as well, and finished up his career in Oakland. He, a guy that was just unblockable. A guy who would still average double-digit sacks despite getting double teams like every single play. Adding that level of talent, that Hall of Fame level of talent to your staff is ridiculous. And it's something that very few could do. You don't see Warren Sapp down there in Miami with Mario Cristobal. You don't see Warren Sapp in Tampa with USF or out in Oakland where he played as well. Where do you see him? You see him with Coach Prime out in Boulder. Coach Prime has this draw, this aura about him that he's able to draw these guys in and give them a chance to make a difference at this level. Now, obviously, he joked with him about hunting and fishing and just all these different things that he would want to do. But when it really comes down to it, Sap knows what it takes. Not just to get to the next level. Of course, everybody wants to get to the next level. But what good is it to get to the next level and get drafted in the sixth or seventh round and then just get cut two, three weeks later? Get through fall camp. Just get through the summer. Get through uh, OTA and then get cut. What's the point of that? It's about the development that they'll get with Warren Sapp. It's about the recruiting efforts, the, the ties that he has to those areas. They're massive, and they help a ton. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of questions. People, oh, what about this? What about that? Coach Prime trusts him. And Coach Prime thinks that he's an asset and a valuable addition to this staff. 
And if Coach Prime thinks that, I don't really know how anybody else can doubt him. I don't really know how anybody else can say anything negative about it. If Coach Prime says, hey, this is what we think is best, then that's what we're rolling with. How about the spring game? Let's talk about that for just a moment. Pac-12 Network. You guys heard this? Now, this is comedic timing. This is the ultimate irony. This is the ultimate LOL laugh out loud moment. Why is that? Well, this will be the final game that Colorado ever plays on the Pac-12 network, I would imagine. Suppose they could play a Pac-12 team that's at home and it ends up getting streamed there, but none are scheduled this year, and I don't expect anything else to be on the Pac-12 network. But shout out to the Pac-12 network here. Not a lot of good decisions made from a media rights perspective in the Pac-12, but this is one of them. This is a big one. This is one that makes a lot of sense. You are losing Colorado. You are losing Coach Prime. You are losing that brand and that media draw. It's gone. It's going to the Big 12. It's in a new conference now. But guess what? That doesn't take effect for a couple more months. And so you've got one more opportunity. ESPN passed. Fox passed. CBS passed. NBC passed. Netflix passed. I don't know if they were up for it or not. But the Pac-12 network said, hey, we are dying. The Pac-12 is now the Pac-2. We have nothing going on for us. We don't have anything that we can really hang our hat on. But let's get one last hurrah. Let's get one last game. And you want to know how many people are going to add the Pac-12 network to their TV package? You want to know how many people are going to tune into the Pac-12 network for just a couple of hours on a Saturday? I know I am. I know most of you guys watching me here on this channel are going to do that. Heard rumors of Lil Wayne and others going to be out at that game. The place is going to be rocking. I got a buddy that goes to college out there in Boulder, and he is already jacked up about the game and what it's going to be like. Hopefully less snow this year. Last year, was an, I was cold watching it from Tampa on my couch, but I'm excited for this spring game, I'm excited for what Coach Prime is going to pull off. There's some big-time recruiting visitors coming. There's a big recruit committed to Florida State that's coming. There are others that are rumored to have already made plans to be there in Boulder for a spring game. Now, obviously, nobody does game day quite like Coach Prime. And there are other massive places that do games really big. I, I live in the South. I get it. I go to those games. But nobody does it quite like Coach Prime. Nobody did it quite like Coach Prime did last year during the spring game. And I'm excited to see what that looks like this year. I'm excited to see what he can bring to Boulder for the spring game this year. I'm not only excited about what the atmosphere and the party looks like, I'm really excited about what the team looks like. We've talked about that a ton. We talked about what the offense looks like. We're going to talk about the defense here in just a couple of days. We're going to continue to break down this roster and this team. And we've got more news coming for you. So make sure that you're locked in with the channel. Make sure that you have hit that subscribe button. Again, let me know your thoughts. Who do you think the analyst that Coach Prime was talking about is? We'll talk about it down in the comments, but I appreciate you guys for tuning in to the prime time for college football.